All right, people, Catfish Dave here. Uh, it's Flathead September. I got me a new haircut. Had to take someone to the doctor today, so I didn't get to do a morning trip. I caught bait yesterday morning, and uh, so it is not old, fairly fresh. But anyway, uh, I kind of got restricted here lately to do a night trip, so that's what we're going to do. See if we can get a flathead to chew. It is Flathead September. Biggest issue we're going to face is the uh, blue cats around here that act like piranhas. Blue cats are the number one fish in this river. Flatheads are a lot rarer. Uh, so, you know, you don't see as many, but they are here. It is Flathead September. I catch blues all the time dragging, you know, I want to catch a flathead for a while, so that's what we're going to do, get some baits in the water, see if he's going to chew. I'm seeing some suspended fish right now over this spot, which are probably them pesky blue catfish. Throw my scraps right there in the back of the boat because I don't want to feed the fish till I leave. I may try some center chunks. These skipjacks are not big enough for center chunks, really, but I'm doing it anyway. That bungee cord keeps my motor going centered so I'm not doing crazy stuff in this current. I love fishing current. Obviously I'm on the upper end of the reservoir to get this current. I got a bad leader on this one. I keep saying I'm going to change it. Or maybe it's the other one. Yeah, it's the other one. Guys ask me about this rods. I've already said what they are. TFR, toughest freaking rod. They are a carbon composite rod. Uh, the only thing about these rods is I did pop a reel seat loose. Trying to winch the reel seat on with a pair of pliers. I'm a pretty strong guy. I popped it, I popped the epoxy loose. I re-epoxied it all around that area. It's not going nowhere now. The blank is great for suspending. It's got the backbone I've been looking for for a long time for a suspended rod. Yeah, that current's really ripping through here. Makes it a little hard to land fish sometimes, but boy, it can make the bite good when it's flowing. This is the one I got a bad leader on. I keep saying I'm going to replace it. First time a big fish breaks it off, I guess I'll replace it. It's got a good nick in it right there. I'd say it's still 20 pound test, so we're going to use it. I need to go ahead and shut that screen off. I, I, I've caught a lot of fish with it on. But just in case a flathead is around, they can be a little spooky. I'm going to shut it off. I don't like cutting bait at night, so I'm going to cut up some more of this now. Can't see nothing, so we'll cut it up while we can see. Well, all right, y'all, we got bait cut up. Enough for a while. I don't care for fishing at night. You can't see good. I got this night light, and uh, 
There's other boaters that blinds the boaters. Had TWR get on me about it one night. The bugs just eat you up. Got me a long sleeve, spread them, planer board shirt I'm going to put on once the bugs get bad here. I do have some bug spray that I'd rather not use because that stuff stinks. It gets on your hands and stinks up the face. So. Well, all right, y'all. An old dag blasted dog in my video. I've seen them boys put in. I hope they're not planning on playing all night right here where I'm fishing because uh, there's not a lot of boats in the water. They can go anywhere. I want to run this light so I can video. They're coming up and down the river. Then I'm supposed to turn it off plus get a bunch of waves to boot. Hopefully they have a little respect and see me fishing here and go play somewhere else. Sounds like World War III in the distance. It's getting that time of year, bang, bang, bang is all you hear. But this is when I catch the best catfish, so. Y'all bang away, I'll sit out here and play. Just got the first nudge on a suspended bait over there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my light on. This is when the bugs are going to get bad, right here. Anytime a boat comes up river, I'll have to shut it off. We do have some wind out here, and I'm hoping that helps keep the bugs off me. There's a dinky blue wanting to chew. In the Tennessee River, that ain't nothing new. I went ahead and sprayed my ankles with that stuff because I'm already feeling the bites on my ankles. I ain't got no socks on. So far, small bites on the suspended rods. That rod on the left, real slow so far. That big fish could always come out of nowhere. Here comes that dang boat. Let me shut this bright light off. So far, all we're getting for action is random boats and bugs. Well, all right, y'all. Been here about an hour. Nothing but some bumps. Some fish that looked, but not real interested. I got about two other spots of interest in this area of river right here. And we're going to spot number two. All right, y'all. We're in a real flat heady looking spot here, a lot shallower than where we was, where we started. Well so far the blue cats have left us alone, and that's a good thing really. These flatheads feed when they do, and it's hard to keep your bait in the water sometimes with them dag blasted blues. 
this is a good spot to get a flathead. Now if we can just get them active, are they hitting at night? I've been catching them in the morning, so I don't know. Uh, 20 minutes after 10, spot number two. Nothing but some small bites. These flatheads are so unpredictable on when they're going to bite. It, they might be biting at 3 o'clock in the morning. It can be very difficult to get on video in a short trip. Blue cat, I can get over that 60 foot hole up there and just wear them suckers out. They bite all the time. These flatheads, they got their own time. Either a small blue cat or a bigger channel cat. Old pesky blue cat. Pretty hard to escape these around here. Y'all, that rod just broke on me. Stiff rod here. Oh, I believe that's another old dinky blue cat. Old dinky blue cat. Another dinky blue cat. It's hard to escape these in the Tennessee River. Yeah, needs to eat. I've got something on that suspended rod there. I'm about to fall asleep. That feels like a flathead. Yep, that feels like a flathead. I'm over here just talking to myself, trying to keep myself awake. About 11.30. Definitely a flathead, y'all. That's definitely a good flathead. I hope he don't cut me off on nothing. This rod is right next to a ledge. Oh, 
This is the stiffest of the two carbon rods I got. I actually got three, another one took the house. This is our fish, y'all. He's going back down. He's going back down. Oh, he's just bulldogging. It's obviously a good fish. Everything I reeled up, he took back out. Super big, but my God, he was strong. He's not a bad one. These flatheads are just strong, y'all. They're a strong fish. They can bulldog you. Come on, baby. Flathead September, y'all. Oh, yeah. Man, them fish are strong. Uh. I'll tell you what, he's got some weight to him. There's no way a blue cat that weighs that much would wear your back out like that. Ugh. Yeah, he's a nice fish. Not the biggest one of the month. Probably the second biggest, but boy, they're just strong, man. Hold still, big boy. Not, not, not a pure giant, but he ain't a bad one. But boy, these things are strong, y'all. They will just bulldog you. Good looking fish. Yeah. Yeah. Good strong fish, man. Let's get him back in. Flathead September. y'all I'm doing a different style of fishing uh, we're gonna see way less numbers of fish but we're gonna end up with more flatheads for this month of September drifting uh, dragging it puts fish in the boat the dragon puts very few flatheads in the boat in a year's time suspend drifting over the right areas can put more in the boat 
but it's still very unpredictable. The best way to get these flatheads is just to sit still where they're at. Do the time. Hopefully that time is within a reasonable amount of time. They can bite much later at night than what happened tonight. So I spent yesterday morning catching bait so I didn't get to do a morning trip. Then I ended up having to take somebody to the doctor today in Knoxville. Well, the doctor was sick, uh, so now I've got to take him back Friday. So the only way I was going to get a second video for the week was to do a night trip. First night trip I've done in a long time. I, I know in at least a year. So Either way, we got our target fish, the elusive flathead catfish, at least in the Tennessee River, blue catfish dominate this river. The flatheads are much less in numbers. We have them, uh, but you're going to have to fish differently. You're going to have to be more patient, and you're going to have to fish the right areas. It's flathead September, y'all. I'm after them. We getting them in the boat. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. This is Catfish Dave with another one, signing out.